happened? Well, today is day seven of the Cosby trial. The star witness for the prosecution wrapped up her testimony yesterday. With more on what we can expect today, let's head outside with News reporter Trang Doe. She is live outside the Montgomery County Courthouse and North Sound. Trang, good morning. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. The prosecution is expected to continue its case today with testimony from detectives who investigated Andrea Constant's sexual assault report. Yesterday, Andrea Constant and her mother, Gianna, took this stand to talk about confrontations they had with Bill Cosby after the alleged assault. Andrea Constant wrapped up two days of testimony Monday where she defended herself against claims by Bill Cosby's camp that she accused the entertainer of sexual assault for a payday. They did a Ocean's Eleven style script where they were going to take a casino for $150 million, but the casino was Bill Cosby. Attorney Gloria Allred scoffed at extortion claims. Mr. Mesero has tried to suggest through his questioning uh, you know, some motives of uh, Ms. Constant that don't exist. Constant testified that in January 2004, then as a Temple University employee, she was visiting Cosby's Elkins Park home when he gave her three blue pills to relax. She says she blacked out and woke up to Cosby assaulting her. She told the jury, I had no sense of time. I was frozen. I wasn't able to fight him in any way. The defense zeroed in on contact Constant had with Cosby after the alleged drugging and assault in 2004, including a phone call on Valentine's Day. Constant says it was about her work with Temple Women's Basketball Program, where Cosby was a powerful trustee. Since Mr. Cosby was very interested in the basketball program, uh, the fact that there might have been some calls to Mr. Cosby that day or from him to her asking about it uh, would not be unusual. Constant also denied knowing a woman named Margot Jackson, who the defense plans to call as a key witness. Now, Jackson says Constant is a former co-worker who told her that she had planned to set up a celebrity and sue them for money. But for now, we're live outside the Montgomery County Courthouse. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Rahel and Jim, back to you. All right, Trang, thank you.